Hello, I'm Bruce Francis, and here's the Tai Chi Tips. We're now going to look at the 70% rule in terms of your legs. And I think something is very useful to mention. If you make your arms go more than 70%, you know, doing a move like this, it's not that easy to hurt them, okay? I mean, honestly, people have been hyper-stretching all the time. But when you do that to your legs, the ligaments of your legs can have problems. We don't live in a, in, in a culture that squats. It's very easy to overstretch and to pull something. It's easy to pull it back out, especially as people start getting past their 20s when their body's naturally regenerating. Now, Tai Chi came from a lot of martial arts, and it's true that in a lot of martial arts, you get into these big stances. And, you know, really, the longer the better. But, you know, a lot of people do that kind of stuff, also get their knees messed up. And I think that's an important point, or get their hips, or get various body parts messed up. So one thing that is useful to mention is this. You have two things when it comes to how far you'll go in Tai Chi with your legs. The first one is this. If we talk about going low, well, some of it could just be, well, what about your muscles? Okay? I mean, how, how low can you go and your muscles are okay? But then there is, when you go down, naturally your muscles could close or open. Well, what is your 70% in terms of your joints? I mean, do you still have the bounce in your joints rather than you just get down, but then there's no bounce? So you have to have bounce in your joints, and that determines 70%. So now you have a few things. Of course, leg alignments will determine what your 70% is, because when your leg alignments are bad, then for sure, you know, your 70% is going to get smaller. But one of the big things that you're looking for is that whether your feet are like this way, or you have more of a 45-degree stance, or for that matter, even if you're in, in some sort of a very long kind of chin-style stance this way, the inside of your pelvis must be open. If the inside of your pelvis is really open, that then is going to make it obvious whether or not you can bounce your joints. Now, if your stance is too big for you, more than 70%, like let's say extending your leg, you never lock a leg, but you could get it close. As long as you can really bounce, and as long as your joints can very easily and comfortably open and close, you're not, you're not, it's not that big a problem, but when your joints cease to being able to easily, if you look at that foot, for example, to open and close, and the ankle just can open and close, but it's, like, it's just like a rock, probably means you've gone past the 70% of your joint. So it's not just how long your legs go, it's if your leg joints remain there full spring. And that's a much more important indice you want to have a 70%, either therapeutically heal a damaged joint, to strengthen a joint so it can do high performance, and just to make sure you plan don't hurt it. Okay, thank you very much, and until next time, folks.